Hi everyone, it's October 11, 2018. I'm going to play just a few minutes of this CNN broadcast. And let me know if anything leaps out at you or maybe um, begs questions in your mind, like uh, something's wrong with this picture. Near Category 5 at Landfall. In this area, right where this guy is, this CNN reporter, a near Category 5, it was one, th this is what mainstream media was reporting, one mile below a Category 5. One mile below. So, you could say it was a Category 5 that hit right there, that area. And I'm going to ask you, are you seeing Category 5 damage in this area? Because I'm not. Uh, this is outside that demarcated zone. Uh, in truth by grace, had calculated that hurricane winds actually did occur in a 23-mile zone. Outside of that, you didn't see hurricane winds. And within that zone, it was not a 5, 4, 3, 2. It was a Category 1, 86 miles per hour. So, um, listen to what this guy is saying. And take note of this near Category 5 damage. He's right smack on the Gulf. Just moments ago, some Bay County Sheriff's deputies have arrived on the scene. They took a sledgehammer to a fence back here, trying to get to that house. They did get to the house, and they knocked on the door. Uh, then they did not get any response and came out. I just asked one of the deputies if, they, if there's anybody in here requiring rescue. He says they're not sure. They're just checking houses that have very severe damage. These deputies just went around that side of the house. They may be emerging uh, any moment now, but they just went through this fence with a sledgehammer. So checking some of these houses, and you can see the damage in some of these places here. Our uh, photojournalist Adolfo Ibarra and I will walk this way. You can see the roof. Of All right. Um... So, deputy sheriff takes a sledgehammer to bust down a fence to get to the front door to make sure that nobody was in there. Why didn't they go through the driveway? Uh, something's not quite right. I is this reporter referring to this cinder block fence? Well, if that were the case, then <laughs> the deputy sheriff was pretty stupid and the sledgehammer would have knocked the cinder blocks over onto this guy's driveway um, what is this guy what is this reporter saying it, it, did they have this massive brick fence or something right that they couldn't get into the home at all without busting down the fence with the sledgehammer Okay, I don't get it, but if you notice the apartment buildings, none of the windows are blown out. If a near Category 5, one mile per hour under that designation of a Category 5, hit this area, I think these roofs would have come off. I think these homes would have been leveled. I think these trees would be down. Um, but what you see is, well, not Category 5 damage. Look at the street. ...of that house got completely sheared off on the right-hand side up there. There's a lot of cinder block damage on the other side. Oh, here come the sheriff's deputies here. Notice how they are not showing you the damage. Gentlemen, did you find anyone? Uh, all the houses were vacant. All right, all the houses were vacant, they say. I'm going to show you this house. So this... Deputy Sheriff is checking all of the homes. You know, when people just accept that, oh, government, it's there to protect me and keep me safe, and they're not questioning the authority figures in that government, not holding anybody accountable, they end up doing whatever the hell they want to do to keep you safe and protect you, even if it means violating your not only constitutional rights, your human rights. He busts down a fence with a sledgehammer, creating more property damage to a home that apparently was damaged, but we don't get to see the damage at all. Was the beach just so strewn with 
uh, decay or, or de debris, sorry, that he couldn't get to show us these things? I guess not. Um, but if you notice that, <laughs> yeah, the driveway is open. They could have gone through there. But look how clean this street is. And look at these trees. And they seem to have their foliage pretty much intact. And you're not seeing an awful lot of debris on this street where a near category five hit. All right, look, um, love to hear what you think. Now, I got a comment from a subscriber who said that Port St. Joe, they had a friend in Port St. Joe, and they will be reporting back when they hear from that friend. I really do hope that you do, because apparently Port St. Joe, which is outside of that 23-mile um, zone, demarcated by in truth by grace so it seems that other areas did get hit hard on the panhandle but I, so far all I am seeing is Panama City which is within that 23 mile zone and Port St. Joe the hardest hit areas include the coastal towns of Port St. Joe and Mexico Beach where Michael made landfall Omar Villafranca is in Port St. Joe, which was cut off for hours at the height of this terrible storm. Omar, good morning. Good morning, Gail. Just getting in and around Port St. Joe is an adventure in itself. So people who are brave enough to try to come back here, some of the residents and business owners, this is an example of what they're seeing. A home like this, windows blown out. You have a lot of debris in the yard from the walls, from the roof, everything just ripped down and thrown. And let me take you over here. We have trees in the street. This is part. You know what happens when people lie and they just keep lying and lying and lying. You really do end up questioning everything that they say. So in looking at all of this debris on this front lawn, you know, all right, so that looks like maybe part of a gutter or something. Um, but all of these trees that are still standing surrounding this home where did all of this stuff come from because i would have thought that this stuff would have been caught by the trees that are still standing what this chair where did this come from was it on somebody's porch but i also want you to take note of the sky look at the pink and the purple and the blue oh those fabulous chem uh, chemicals and heavy metals that they use to create cloud that uh, creates moisture, that creates rain. Oh, boy. To business owners, this is an example of what they're seeing. A home like this, windows blown out. You have a lot of debris in the yard. Sorry for that shot of a Mustang with modified muffler from the roof everything just ripped down and thrown and let me take you over here we have trees in the street this is part partially a residential area you have this home over here looks like it's okay but there is a lot of water that was flowing through this area we saw a water line that was maybe two or three feet we were actually hunkered down in port st joe when michael was blowing through the walls were shaking the ground was shaking it was pretty vicious we were wondering what that damage would look like here is okay uh the walls were shaking, the ground was shaking. Extremely low frequencies can make the ground shake. Another piece of the damage we want to show you. This is a business, I'm going to try to get out of here with the shadow. The wall is gone. There's no longer a wall there. The roof is gone and part of the contents of this fast food store are basically spread three, four blocks out in this neighborhood. It is a lot. Wow. Four blocks away, you find a Twinkie on the street. But here, where a near Category 5 landed, you see perfectly clean streets. I still want to hear from you guys in Georgia and in this area of the Panhandle, all over the Panhandle, because they were saying that that near Category 5 was going to hit all of the Panhandle okay the only way that we can get the truth is from honest citizens to tell us what actually has happened and is going on now 
Ciao, guys.